Good morning to the Life Motivators. Each one of these faces that you see on the screen today is someone that has shifted their life into a new energy, into a new process. Building a business or building themselves or building life into the direction where they truly wanted it to go. Each one of us has been working on ourselves within our process and the different things that we do on a day-to-day -day basis. Most of us, we have principles within life that we stand by. What are your seven principles? Are you standing by them daily no matter what? Because that is the key part of it. If you have something that you have as a habit within your life or implementing within your life, stick with it. Why? Because it can bring so much more into your life. The seven decisions that I work on, you know, the responsible decision. The buck stops here. That's my number one. There's nothing else I'm going to blame. This is, I'm not, I blame, blame someone else before my lack of. You know, I look at the mirror and say, you were the one that didn't do the processes. You were the one that didn't follow through. Then you were the one that needs to be blamed, which is the person in the mirror, the one that I look at. And I think of the powerful thoughts and I'm not someone that's trying to catch a prize. I want to work for what I have and I always have because that's been my mentality. Number two is the guided decision. I will seek wisdom. I will seek wisdom from those that have the success within their life. And I'll have the power of the fellowship that I deal with every day within here because this fellowship is what brings more into my life. Action number three is the active decision. I am a person of action. The decisions that I have within my head, they do not come to fruition or they do not move forward unless I take actions within my life. I become that person of action with the butterfly effect that I put into my life. Number four is the certain decisions. I have decided heart to know what I want. I find the purpose and I find my vision and I find my drive to analyze what I truly want to go through within life, living an unlimited life of possibilities. Number four, a joyful decision. Today, I will choose to be happy. Every day, I wake up to have gratitude and love and happiness within my heart, within my life, and everything that surrounds me. What do you choose as a choice for you? Number six, the compassionate decisions. I will greet today with a forgiving spirit. There is power within forgiving. Forgiving yourself, forgiving others, forgiving the things that you may not know now, but just know you're going to go back to the wisdom and you're going to gain that knowledge. And number seven, the persistent decisions. I will persist without exception. I will move forward each day. I will make sure even though I cannot see my path, I will move forward because every step forward is win-win. Thomas, can, can we discuss that six real fast? Yes. All right. All right. So let, let me um, um, just elaborate on something really, really small. Th those, those are all awesome. So, but if you're not, if you haven't allowed yourself to put six into practice, can I tell you that? That's the blockage, whatever you've been experiencing, like you feel there's a door. So every, you come to the wall and I can only get this far. No matter what I do, I've only gotten only this far. Or no matter what I'm doing, I'm trying this, I'm trying that, I'm, I'm trying to get all these other things going. Roger. Um, but but in, in the midst of me trying to get all these other things going, I keep hitting a certain limit. I keep only, I'm only able to go X, X amount of length and, and you know, far it's because of forgiveness. Forgiveness can can stop a blessing. Forgiveness can can withhold a flow because of where your heart is. You know, a lot of times, what are we talking about here? With the clarity of your mind, the clarity of your heart. So the clarity of your mind, your body, and your spirit, man. All of those things. And in order for for this for you to have that that perfect flow, that flow where you're in sync, a lot of times, you have to let things go, and that all starts with forgiveness, man. That's very, I mean, that, that's a vital, vital thing. I mean, you hit those and, and we could talk about each one of those topics, um, you know, in, in yeah. a more broader spectrum or whatnot. But, but that one right there, Thomas, that, that hit home because I, I've seen so many people throughout the years um, suffering, you know, because of holding on to something that wasn't worth to hold, hold on any, anyways, you know. And nine times out of 10, you're the person that's holding on to it and the person that hurts you or the situation that you went through, or, you know, a person, the other individual might not even be aware that you feel in such a way or that you're going through such a thing. So they could have, a, they couldn't have a care in the world. So there's no point in you holding
holding on or having a grudge, you know, that's the thing that's holding you and stopping you from becoming who you need to be or who you could be. Definitely. And yes, I could go further in depth than each one of those right there. But that's just the seven that I look at each day for me and that I work towards because it has kept me within tune of what's going on on my bigger vision. And once you start understanding yours and where it's going and what you truly want within your life, then you will be able to start to harness a whole lot more within inside of that power that you harness within you. We have it. We all have it. The energies that we wake up with each day to be able to go and give thank you. Thank you for everything that you're truly already doing. You know, you woke up today. You got these beautiful ears to listen to this stuff this morning. You have these beautiful eyes to see our, our, our awesome faces and our beautiful smiles. You know, and you get to see the energy and the passion that we're bringing to you each day within here. And why do we bring this passion to you? Because we have seen the thousands that it has worked for. And we know the millions that it worked for before this today. And every day that we're in here, we know that we're not bringing something new to the table. All we're trying to do is unlock you. Because like he said, we had the resistance that we have built up over our time frame of our life. I don't see spring chickens in here. I see some awesome people. I see us that have, have evolved within this life as this world has evolved. And as the computer world has evolved, as our knowledge to be able to access it has evolved. How many of you had the library card, right? That was the only place that you could, yeah, right? It was free. But how many people never went? Too many. Too many people got it and never went to get that information or to get that knowledge or to increase their self. But yet, we have the power of just about every library book in our hands, and there's still people that will not read it or listen to it. They've been putting on audio. People will go and listen, you know, and like myself, I read books on a recording site and then I put it out in different locations because it's just different little chapters that I like, different little things. But there's people that read books for a living so they can be brought out on audio for you to be able to ride down the road, plug it into your stereo, Bluetooth it to your stereo in your car, put it in headphones as you're exercising, and you can be able to increase your knowledge daily. But we have found that throughout this time frame right here, even for myself, I was not a big reader. So me getting in with this community has increased my knowledge tenfold in the last three years. Because I wanted something more within my life and I found out what I wasn't doing. And then I started doing something different. And I started doing it and I stayed dedicated to it. And I brought more to my life and those around me. If you're looking for that something more, then come in here. Get a little bit of injection each day. Miss Jen is reading the, the magic book by Rhonda within here right now with us. And then when you know, December comes around, she has another idea of a book that she wants to bring out. And in January as well. So what are we doing? We're bringing more back to the table of life for you to have the ease. Because that's what everybody wants. I want the easy life. Just say, just tell me how to do it. Just read it to me. Just give it to me. How many Americans have been sitting with their hands held out for too daggum long? Too many. We're wanting you to put the control back into your life and quit depending on others to be able to do it for you. You are action takers. We are all action takers. We all have the energy. We all came to this earth with it. Nobody was shorted. I love it when somebody tells me, well, God gave you the, the looks. Yes, he did. Okay. But guess what? You are beautiful in your own right just as well. Well, God gave you knowledge. No, he gave us all knowledge. I just decided to tap into it. Well, God gave you, you know, the love, the ability to, to love everyone. He gave you that same ability. It's I tapped into it. And that's all we're asking you to do is tap into your true potential that you have on a day-to-day -day basis and live it. Don't let the life live you because there's negativity out there in the world every day that will bring you down. We talk about that all the time, but we rise above that negativity to where it can't touch us because that's the energy that we put to it. That's the expectancy when we wake up each morning that we put to it. 
It's a great day. Go ahead, brother. Well, there's there's uh there's no better way to to get yourself going than to have have a high expectancy of yourself. You know, um, we we discuss a lot of ways to you know people come here to to get you know motivation and to get encouragement, but there's no better encouragement than self encouragement because you don't have to wait till a morning zoo. You know, you could literally go ahead and look in the mirror and tell yourself all the things that you needed to hear from the get go, anyways. You know, for your mind, for your body, for your spirit to receive, you know, affirm great things within thyself, not waiting for somebody else to, you know, to, to confirm or affirm them, you know, inside of you. That's a reality. I mean, we're, we're all beautiful. I don't care who you are from wherever you're at, whatever shape, whatever color you are, whatever color your eyes are, mustache, no mustache, hair or no hair. You know, I mean, we're all beautiful in our own right, man. You just have to have to realize that beauty within yourself. Realize the potential that's already there. You know, there there is no, there isn't much of a difference, you know, between any one of us who, who comes up here on speaking or, you know, or uh, somebody in the world who, you know, we, we consider to be a famous celebrity or uh, a, a keynote speaker or an awesome author or copywriter or, um, you know, multi, you know, billionaire you know, in business and whatnot, there, there's nothing that separates us outside of the things that, are, you know, that man creates here on earth because we're all the same in, in so many different ways, you know, and it's about you being in tune with yourself, you analyzing yourself, you getting yourself to that point where you have the victory every single day. You know, um, we I'll say it again and, I've, and, I, and I'll continue to say it. The, bell, the best kind of analyzation is self-analyzation. You know, um, where where is your heart at? You know, is your heart well this morning? You know, is your soul well this morning? You know, you you don't have to be fake. You don't have to be phony. Be real, be transparent, given you might not be able to be that way with everybody. I understand. I understand. We're all picky and choosy when it comes to who we, we, we decide to be vulnerable with. Okay. There's no judgment cast upon you for, you know, and, and that reference, but is your heart well? Is your soul well? Is your mind well this morning? Are you well this morning? That's a question that you, I mean, I, I ask myself those questions every single day to make sure that I'm in tune, to make sure that I'm in alignment, to make sure that I'm in a position to receive myself. How can I come to, to, to a morning motivation, to a life motivators, you know, to encourage anybody on here? If I first haven't practiced that within myself, if I don't believe it within myself, I'm, if I'm coming to speak to you guys and I haven't practiced these things myself, then I consider myself to be a fake. I consider myself to be a phony. I'm sorry, you know, or I'm, I'm, I have, if I have, there's nothing wrong with having a, a, a internal turmoil, you know, because we're always going through certain struggles in our minds, thinking, you know, and, and kind of uh, sifting through aspects you know, through the good and the bad, through the things that we want to receive and through the things that we know aren't in alignment of who we are and the things that we want to do anyways, you know, but ask yourself those questions, man. Is your mind, is your heart, is your soul well this morning? And what do you want to do with it? You know, you're, you're not here just to exist in the slightest bit. You're here to live. You're here to thrive. You're here to, to become that best version of you. And I'm not referencing here this morning talking to us i'm referencing you being alive man you know you having vitality within your body you know are you being or, or working towards that best version of you today i don't i don't know what that looks like specifically because we all come from different lives i could tell you what i'm practicing i could tell you what i'm doing you know but i don't i don't know what that is for you ma'am sir person watching on youtube you know individual watching the recording later on regardless I don't know what that looks like, but it's important for you to know. And you only can get there through, hey, you've seen Thomas lately with a pen and paper. You know, a lot of the people on here, if you would scroll through or you would join us in the morning, you would see we have pen and paper with us in the morning. You know, and the reason for that is because of the, we have to write out our lives. We have to write out our intentions. We have to visit our goals, you know, and in writing some of those things, make sure to incorporate and include gratitude. Because gratitude unlocks the blessings of life. Gratitude broadens your horizon to see more, to see more opportunities in your every single day. 
You know, gratitude opens up the door so you begin to see things that you take for granted. How many times do we take things for granted as people? We do. We take this air that we breathe. We take it for granted. We think it'll be there forever. We don't know that. The water that we drink, it might not be there forever. Things are getting scarce. Not to put any fear in you. Um, how, how many of you thought that you would be paying more for water than you was for gasoline? Come on. Come on, Thomas. That's the truth. Yeah, it, it's, it's across the board, man. So it's, it's, it's important to, to have, that, have that key ingredient in your day. You know, you want to know what to implement? Start off right there. I love the reading. I love the fact that we're going through this 28-day practice, man. Because if you ain't going to get anything out of it, I know you're going to get that. If you're paying attention, if you're listening, if you're implementing to any amount of, uh, uh, of content that, that, we're, that we're spitting, that we're speaking, that we're thinking, that we're giving to you and delivery, gratitude, man. Let that be the fine ingredient. Let that bring your, your special sauce. Sprinkle that on your day this morning. Gratitude over everything, man. The good and the bad, because the bad exists in order to make you better. The bad stuff that we go through from our day-to-day, -day, the challenges that we face, those are the things that are molding your character. Exactly. Thomas is flexing right now. Those are the things that are molding you into that better version of you. Don't be scared to go through that stuff. That's the stuff that's meant for you. That's the stuff you, you've been anointed for. That's the stuff that, that, that was meant to be in your, in your path. You know, and Christian in Christian circles, we call that carrying our cross. That's what we call it. Carrying our cross because my cross ain't meant to bear for nobody else's. You know what? I don't want Thomas's life. I want my life, the life that Julio Reyes is supposed to have. I don't want Jen Murray's life. Jen Murray, Jen Murray has her own life. She has her own family members, her own things to deal with, her own, the stuff that comes at, at her, the, the, the good aspects, the blessings, all of that stuff. She's anointed for that. She is intended for that. Thomas is intended for his life, and I am intended for mine. And you are intended to live out the best version of your life. So what are you going to do with it, man? The world the world is your opportunity. The life, the fact that you have life in your bones, that's your opportunity. What are you going to do with it, man? We always talk about stewardship. You've been given a lot already. You know, it's only 8.56 here in, in Chicago. So nine, nine hours of this 24-hour cycle has, has already been here. I've slept some of it away. Guess what? I'm not going to sleep the rest of it. I'm going to maximize my potential. I'm going to maximize who I can be. And I'm going to embrace whatever comes my way because those are the things that are meant to be in my path. And those are the things that were meant to operate in my flow. Those are the things that, that, are, that are meant for me to carry in my day. And I welcome all of those things because they're molding me. And every single day, they're making me bigger. They're making me better. They're giving me greater clarity. But it's because I'm in tune, because I'm paying attention. Are you paying attention? Are you living life to the max? You know, are you being that better version of yourself day in and day out? I can't tell you what it looks like. I'm sorry. That is part of what you have to do and your own heavy lifting. You know, but make this day count, man. Because tomorrow ain't promised for none of us. So make it count. It ain't just a saying. I don't just always end off or try to say that just as a general saying. Make it count. Because yesterday is long gone and over with. Tomorrow has yet to come. And all we have is the now. All we have is today. So make it count. Amen. Love you. Much love, brother. I remember when I started my first mentoring with my back in 2000. And after we got into it for a while and this, that, and the other, he asked me, he said, so how are you feeling now? How is your energy levels? You know, where are you at right now within your vibrations? And I said, the universe is my unlimited playground and earth is my gravy bowl. And I'm going to use the big dipper as my ladle. That's what I want you to live guys. Know that you are a universal power. Every single one of us has that universal connection to be the greatest version of you each day. Yes. Because you have a talent, you have a niche, you have something that you're going through within life that is going to unlock something. Some have to go through a tragic, tragic something within their life before it unlocks. 
and some are able to harness it and roll with it before the tragedy happens. Be the person that harnesses your true potential before the tragedy. Know that you have that power within to unlock, to be that greatest version of you each day. It's fun. Do, do you want like 10 to 20 years to go by, 30 years to go by and for you to live life in the shoulda, coulda, wouldas, you know, and then regret thinking back, man, I could have did this or I should have did that. Or had I only done such and such, where would I be? You know, I refuse to live life in that. I'm going to live life today to the best of my ability. So I can never, ever say those things. So I can never live life in regret, but live life in the positions that I gave it my all and I did my best. So I have, I have nothing to be ashamed of. I, my position is pride. My position, and I don't, not a, not a, not a, a boastful pride. But I am proud of the things that I did and the life that I lived and that I lived it to the max and to the best of my ability. Yes. I want to be able to say that. Don't you want to be able to say that? Mm-hmm. Who's driving? Huh? We know who's driving his wheels. They have taken it and rolling him to that next direction. Now, everybody that's coming here has been waiting for Miss Jen, and we're going to pass it on to her. She's been reading the magic. If you haven't had the hard copy yet, she is on day five in the hard copy. And if you're on PDF, then you don't have the PDF yet. Go to the file sections within the Life Motivators group if you came in that way, and it's in there. And you can download it and catch up with us, and then you can start moving forward with this practices of the magic that she's reading. So we're going to pass it on to Miss Jen. Go ahead. Awesome, Thomas. And yeah, I know there are a lot of people that are tuning in, like they just decided that they're going to jump in now, or they've been kind of catching up over the last few days. And that's okay. Uh, take your time. Just remember to do it consecutively. And so if you do miss a day, the rule is, and you'll read it in the book, obviously, but go back and do the last three. Uh, today's magic reading, I think is super powerful, just because I'm always talking with people about money, right? It seems to be a, a big big topic among people because you need it, right? You need it to survive. And so I thought it was really, really fitting. Uh, that being said, I think, Patrick, did you want to read the magic reading today or did you want me to go ahead with it? Um, I'm trying to unmute. This is, um, I'm going to let you read, but this is, um, as I read ahead from last night, which you always say to do, and uh, after yesterday's wonderful events, we made the best of it. And uh, it, it really touched me when in the first line of this, and I'm going to let you read, but gratitude is riches, complaint is poverty. Think about that and say it back a few times yourself. And then if, you, if you're at the end of four and you read what you want to think about the night before, which is today, and then I'll let Jen take over because we want to hear your beautiful voice. <laughs> okay, Patrick, as long as you're sure. You have a beautiful voice too. <laughs> but yeah, we're going to be taking turns going through the magic reading. So anyone who's jumping on here, if you want to take a day, just let us know. I know a couple people are taking over on the weekend. Um, but yeah, he's absolutely right. Read the next day if you can, the night before. But don't overwhelm yourself, right? Because each day has a practice. So day five, we're getting right into it. It's magic money. If there's a lack of money in your life, understand that feeling worried, envious, jealous, disappointed, discouraged, doubtful, or fearful about money can never bring more money to you because those feelings come from a lack of gratitude for the money you have. Complaining about money, arguing about money, getting frustrated about money, being critical of the cost of something, or making someone else feel bad about money are not acts of gratitude. And the money in your life can never improve, it will worsen. No matter what your current situation, the very thought that you don't have enough money is being ungrateful for the money you have. You have to get your current situation out of your mind and instead feel grateful for the money you do have so the money in your life will magically increase. Whoever has gratitude for money will be given more and he or she will have an abundance. Whoever does not have gratitude for money, even with what she or he has, will be taken away from him or her. Feeling grateful for money when you have very little is challenging for anyone. 
But when you understand that nothing will change until you're grateful for grateful, you will be inspired to do it. The subject of money can be tricky one for many people, especially when they don't have enough. So there are two steps to the magic money practice. It's important that you read through the entire practice of magic money at the beginning of the day because you will continue with the money practice throughout the day. Sit down and take a few minutes to think back through your childhood before you had any or much money. As you recall each memory where money was paid for you, say, the, say and feel the magic words thank you with all your heart for each instance. And this is really good, right? Because it brings us back. Did you always have food to eat? Did you live in a home? Did you receive an education over many years? How did you travel to school each day? Did you have school books, school lunches, and all the things you needed for school? Did you go on any vacations when you were a child? What were the most exciting birthday gifts you received when you were a child? Did you have a bike, toys, or a pet? Did you have clothes as you grew so quickly from one size to the next? Did you go to the movies, play sports, learn a musical instrument, or pursue a hobby? Did you go to the doctor and take medicine when you were not well? Did you go to the dentist? Did you have essential items that you used every day, like your toothbrush, your toothpaste, soap and shampoo? Did you travel in a car? Did you watch television, make phone calls, use lights, electricity, and water? All of these things cost money, and you receive them all at no charge. As you travel back through memories of your childhood and youth, you'll realize how many things you receive that equate to hard-earned money. Be grateful for every single instance and in memory, because when you feel sincere gratitude for the money you received in the past, your money will magically increase in the future. It's guaranteed by the universal law. So to continue the practice of magic money, take a dollar bill. So we don't have dollar bills in Canada, so you might need a loony or a five dollar bill, but take a bill, right, wherever you're tuning in from, some people are in Egypt, and put on the, on the bill, write on a sticker or sticky, sticky notes are great, thank you for all the money I've been given throughout my life. So you write that on the bill. Thank you for all the money I've been given throughout my life. Take your magic dollar bill with you today and put it in your wallet, your purse, or your pocket. At least once in the morning and once in the afternoon, or as many times as you want, take it out and hold the magic dollar bill in your hands. Read your written, written words and be truly grateful for the abundance of money you've been given in your life. The more sincere you are, the more you feel it, the faster you will see a miraculous change to the circumstances of your money. You will never know ahead of time how your money will increase, but likely you'll see many different circumstances change for you to have more money. You could find money you didn't realize you had, receive unexpected cash or checks, receive discounts, rebates, or decreases in costs, or receive all kinds of material things that would have cost you money. After today, put your magic dollar bill in a place where you will continue to see it every day and to remind you to be grateful for the abundance of money you've been given, never forgetting that the more times you look at your magic dollar bill and feel gratitude for the money you've been given, the more magic you'll bring forth. An abundance of gratitude for money equals an abundance of money. If you find yourself in a situation where you're about to complain about something to do with the money, whether it's through your, any words or through your thoughts, ask yourself, am I willing to pay the price for this complaint? Because that one complaint will slow or even stop the flow of money. From this day forward, make a promise to yourself that whenever you receive any money, whether it's salary for work, a refund, a discount, or someone that gives you, someone gives you that cost money, you'll be truly grateful for it. Each of these circumstances means that you've received money and each instance gives you an opportunity to use gratitude's magical practice to increase and multiply your money even more by being grateful for the money you just received. So today's magic practice number five, magic money. Repeat steps one to three of magic practice number one. Count your blessings. Make a list of 10 blessings. Write why you're grateful. Reread your list. Say thank you, thank you, thank you, and feel gratitude for each one. 
Sit down and take a few minutes to think back through your childhood and all the things you received that were provided to you at no charge. As you recall each memory where money was paid for, say and feel the magic words thank you with all your heart for each instance. Take a dollar bill or a small bill and write on a sticker that you place on the bill in big, bold letters. Thank you for all the money I've been given throughout my life. Take your magic dollar bill with you today and at least once in the morning and once in the afternoon or as many times as you want, take it out and hold the magic dollar bill in your hands. Read your written words and be truly grateful for the abundance of money you've been given. After today, put your magic dollar bill somewhere you will see it every day to remind you to continue to be grateful for the abundance of money you have been given in your life. And just before you go to bed tonight, hold your magic rock in one hand and say the magic words, thank you for the best thing that happened during the day. Awesome sauce is what that is right there. Powerful is this book. Powerful is the knowledge that you acquire while you're reading it. And even if you have to, go back and read it again. Like I said, this is multiple times that we have been reading this. And why? Because it brings power back to us, reminds us of what we kind of slack off from for a while because we implement it and we're doing it and we're doing it. And then all of a sudden, some people start to, oh, well, I don't need to do that anymore. But why not? If it has brought greatness within your life, it has brought a better you in the version of you each day, then why wouldn't you want to continue the practice? When I started waking up and telling myself how much I loved me and how awesome I was and that the things that I was going to do today was going to bring greatness within my life and others around me, just those simple words right there every single morning has brought more into my life, the abundance of more, having the gratitude for the money that I have within my life, having gratitude for the friends and the loved ones that support me within my life having gratitude for everything that I have within my life and that I have brought me to because it has been me that has been working me to my life. It has been you that's working you to your life. It has been your thoughts, your dreams, your actions, and your dedications that have brought you more to your life. Get out that sticky note today, guys. If you haven't got them yet, go get them. They're really cheap. Dollar Store has them all over the place. Put those notes on there. And then put it on those dollar bills. Put the sticky notes all over your house, on the mirrors, on your car, of your vehicle, wherever you got to, to say thank you that you have wheels today to get you around and you're not walking. Say thank you today that you have the money to pay for the insurance for that car that you're driving or the car note. Because if you're not thankful for that car note when you write it out, then guess what? You know, it could be a bad day. But you're thankful each day. Yes. Sticky notes are great for, for all kinds of affirmations, Thomas. Everywhere you go, exactly what you said, on your mirror, in your car, in your windows, at work, on the fridge, everywhere. They're great for affirming great things and seeing great things to affirm them within yourself throughout the day, no matter what you're doing. Sorry to cut you off. No, that's, that's good. And then, I mean, you said it the other day too, the journal that you're writing down your list of things that you want to accomplish today and what's your most highest values that you're going to be accomplishing. And throughout the day, guess what? Go read the list again, because we will get that squirrel mentality and be off over here and not be on the path that we needed to be on today. And it wasn't getting you nowhere. And then when you get to bed tonight, I really didn't accomplish anything. Did you go and look at your list? Did you stay dedicated to what you wrote down for what you wanted to accomplish today? Simple. That's all it takes right there is you staying dedicated to what you wrote down you wanted to accomplish. Because we don't go and write down, hey, I'm on, uh, Julio's going to do this for me today. Jen's going to do this for me today. Carol's going to do this for me today. That ain't the list. I will be doing this today. I need to accomplish this today. I need to make sure I'm reading a book or listening to some books to get some more knowledge within me. I need to go to the gym because I want to lose weight. You know, I want to get my physical body in tune. Then what do I need to do? Work on your mind, body, and spirit daily, all day long. And when you go to bed at night, you're saying thank you for everything that you were able to accomplish and have a clear heart and mind and soul 
and you know tomorrow that you're going to get up and accomplish everything that you want to accomplish tomorrow because that's the expectancy that you're putting to it tonight when you go to sleep. I expect to have greatness within my life tomorrow. I had it today. I'll have it tomorrow. I expect to have love within my life. I had it today. I want it tomorrow. And if you keep putting those expectancies to your life, you will see it flow into a whole different direction. It's been an awesome morning within here. Great words, great messages, great love within. We're going to pass it on to Miss Shannon to wrap us up. Morning, everybody. So life is like a tree with many branches. In order for me to grow and prosper, I have to completely let go of one branch and grab a hold of the next. The surest way to succeed is to keep moving forward and never look back unless I'm looking to see how far I've come. There is a reason why my eyes are in the front. It's because it's more important to look ahead than to look back. I don't dwell on things in the past. I learn from them and keep moving forward. We learn and we move forward. Stay dedicated, my friends. We love and appreciate you all. We'll see you all tomorrow.